I invite you all to rise. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. I welcome you all this afternoon as we gather to celebrate this Mass for Linda. We're going to sprinkle the cremated remains with holy water, remind us of her baptism in the Lord Jesus. In the waters of baptism, Linda died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May she now share with him eternal glory. Our gathering song could be found in your spirit and song hymnals, number 131. That's 131. I know that my Redeemer lives, the one who calls me home. I long to see God face to face, to see with my own eyes. I know that my Redeemer lives, that I shall rise again. I know that my Redeemer I shall rise again. I know that I shall one day see the goodness of the Lord when God will wipe away your tears and death will be no more. I know that my I shall rise again. I know that my Redeemer lives, that I shall rise again. So we gather this afternoon with Linda's family, her son Chris and his wife Jessica, and son Jason, his wife Evelyn. No, I can't read my own writing. <laughs> Error. Eric. Erica. This doesn't look like Erica on here. Anyway, and Jonah, Noah, his son, and Wanda's sister and her sister, and all of you who gather here as part of the family and friends as well. So let us pray. O God, Almighty Father, our Son, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery, your servant Linda, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. You will be seated now as Bruce Williams reads the first reading. A reading from the book of Isaiah. On the mountains the Lord of hosts will provide for all his peoples. On this mountain he will destroy the veil that veils all people. The web is, that is woven over nations, he will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears form, form all faces. The reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth, for the Lord has spoken. On that day it will be said, Behold our God, to whom we look to save us. This is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad he saved us. The word of the Lord. Our sung response will be, The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Nothing I shall want. 
The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the side of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we know that our earthly dwelling, a tent, should be destroyed. We have a building from God, a dwelling not made with hands, that is eternal in heaven. We are always courageous Although we know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Yet we are courageous, and we would rather leave the body and go home to the Lord. Therefore, we aspire to please him, whether we are at home or away. For we must all appear before judgment seat of Christ, so that each may receive recompense according to what he did in the body, whether good or evil. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself so that where I am, you also may be. Where I'm going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. If you'll be seated. We gather today to pay our last respects of a person we have known and loved in our lives, Linda. And we gather here to support the family that she leaves behind, her children, grandchildren, sister and nieces and nephews, nieces at least, no nephews. <laughs> uh, and as we do, we know that, that Linda lived her life faithfully and lovingly in the Lord, that she, we have no problems not realizing and knowing that she is an embrace of God in heaven today because she was faithful to her God, faithful to her family, faithful to her friends, and faithful to all who came to her in need. Wanda has been cutting my hair for 50 years or so, and, um, and so I, every time I go to her house to get my hair cut, Linda would always be there. And Linda would come into the room, their living room, and watch Wanda cut my hair, and, and then we'd watch Jeopardy, I think, um, in the evenings. And I, I'm sure you know that Linda was a very competitive person, that she loved to have the right answers and loved to win the game. So every time she got the right answer, of course, she would yell out, yes, and here I was. I didn't know any of the answers, and I wasn't yelling at all. Wanda knew some of the answers, but it was that kind of an atmosphere that I got my hair cut in. I didn't go to, I haven't been to a barber shop in many, many hundreds of years, it seems like. Um, but anyway, so I, I had the privilege of, of getting to know Linda a little bit in that kind of an atmosphere and um, just sharing a little bit of life and getting, she would update me on what's going on at St. Anthony's Church, of course. You know, who died and who was the priest there and what they're doing and what they're not doing and all the <laughs> other good things that Joycey kind of knows, you know, that you want to know. and. Um, and so it was, it was just a great privilege and a, a pleasure to be able to get my hair cut and to be with Wanda and Linda as I was doing that kind of a thing. Um, and so as we gather here today, I know that many of you have known Linda the many years that she's been in, in your life and how wonderful the spirit of love that she had for family and for friends, for those in greater need. She was always trying to help people. She was. I remember when I was, if I went there near lunchtime or something, no, I, didn't, I never went at lunchtime on a Saturday because both Linda and Wanda were down at the Senior Citizen Center serving lunch to the people down there. And so I couldn't get my hair cut at that time. I had to wait until later on when they were finished. But that was, that was the kind of spirit of Linda, to helping people, helping them to, to get by and helping them to be fed and to be cared for and to be loved. And for that kind of great graciousness in her life, you know and I know that she is certainly an embrace of God in heaven today. So as we, as we pray for Linda and her family that she leaves behind, we pray for that grace to be in some ways like her, to be loving and kind and generous with our hearts. Maybe we don't have to be as competitive as she wanted to be or was in her life, wanting to win every Jeopardy game and know all the answers. Um, but that was, it was a fun experience to be able to know uh, what they knew and what I didn't know about these funny answers from Jeopardy. But as we, as we gather here today, 
we gather in the presence of our God and the presence of each other and share with each other, hopefully afterwards, some stories about Linda and how she touched your life, the blessings that she brought to your life and the parish of St. Anthony's and wherever she was. And so as we gather today and pray for her, let us continue to pray for her children, her in-laws, her grandson Noah, and ask God to help them because they're the ones that are hurting because they have lost their mother, their mother-in-law, their grandmother, their dear friend and confidant and so many things that she was to them. And um, without her, you know, they feel that sense of loss more than any of us would sense the loss of Linda in our lives. So let us pray for them, pray for strength for them to get through these days and to know the goodness of a God who loves them, who loves Linda, who embraces Linda in heaven today. And to know that together because we have known our God in some ways in our lives, that God is with us as well to bring peace and understanding and the knowledge of who we are and how do that we continue to live our lives faithfully and lovingly and uh, know the embrace of our God in our lives as Linda knew the embrace of God in her life. We'll rise now for our prayers of intercession. My friends, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father who intercedes for his church. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus, we join our prayers to his. Let us pray for Linda, her family and friends, and for all God's people. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For Linda, a child of God, an heir to the kingdom, that she be held securely in God's loving embrace now and for all eternity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For her family, that they feel the healing power of Christ in the midst of their pain and grief, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For her friends who shared time with her and those who cared for her, that they may be consoled in their loss and strengthened in their love for one another, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all parents who grieve over the death of their children, that they may be comforted in the knowledge that their children dwell with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For children who have died of hunger, and disease, and these little ones be seated close to God, to the Lord at his heavenly table, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the whole church that we prepare worthily for our hour of death, when God will call us by name to pass from this world to the next, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, you entrusted Linda to our care, and now you embrace her in your love. Take Linda into your keeping, together with all who have died. Comfort us, your sorrowing servants, who seek to do your will and to know your saving peace. Pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. If you be seated now as the gifts of bread and wine are brought forth by Wanda and Chris, I think. To the Lord my soul. 
friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O God, for the salvation of your servant Linda, we beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful judge lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful, O God, life is changed, not ended, and when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. kneel or be seated as we continue with our Eucharistic prayer. You are indeed holy, O God, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O God, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up 
for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, God, as you celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May make of us an eternal offering to you that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing health. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O God, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Pauli, Savio, and Frank, our bishops, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family summoned here before you in your compassion, O merciful God, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant Linda, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you are God as you are, we shall be like you with all the ages and praise you without end through Christ our Lord, to whom we bestow on the world all that is good. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, O God, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. This time we offer each other a sign of God's peace, a handshake embrace with those around you. go to communion down the center aisle and rack around the sides. If you're not going to communion, you can come up with your arms crossed and we'll share a little blessing with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Our communion song could be found in your spirit and song books on number 333. That's 333 in your spirit and song book.
of his hand. You need not fear the terror of the night, nor the Near you it shall not come, and he will raise you up on eagle's wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, make you to shine like the sun, and hold you in the palm of his hand. his hand. Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament's body food for the journey, mercy grant that, strengthened by it, our sister Linda may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We'll all be seated now as Carrie delivers a eulogy on behalf of Linda. I'm sure some of you are surprised to see me up here. <laughs> I have Kleenexes in my hand, so bear with me. Um, thank you for coming today. My Aunt Linda was all about family. <laughs> she loves her kids more than anything, and she loved all of us. <laughs> I think once Noah came along, though, Chris and Jason moved down the list just a little bit. Um, she retired from her job. The only thing she wanted to do, I know a lot of people have retired and they usually travel and do all kinds of things, but all she cared about was hanging out with her family. She did their volunteer work. She liked to sleep in. I think those are the biggest things she wanted to do, is sleep in and spend time with her family. So she, um, was one of those people who still got the newspaper delivered every day, which I thought, I think she's the only person I knew, maybe there's somebody here, but she not just got the newspaper, but she read it front to back, and she knew everything that was going on. If we saw something being built in the city of Renton, and you didn't know what was happening, you would go to Aunt Linda, because she would know what was happening. So she was always, I'm not sure who we're gonna go to now, Chris, I expect you to get the newspaper. I mean, it's stuff that you couldn't even find on Google, I think. Um, she, and she's one of the neatest, cleanest people you would ever meet. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that I used to tell friends of mine, my friend Lori's here, she probably heard me say this, that I would eat off of my aunt's bathroom floor most likely before I would eat some of the food people bring to potlucks at my work. So, but I'm not kidding you, it, it was immaculate. She cleaned every day, at least something. And on a certain day, it was her just pickup day, and I don't even know what she was picking up because there was never anything out. <laughs> but she had her pickup day. So, and if we were having family dinner, one of us inevitably would say, oh, I'm gonna do the dishes, because then she'd freak out, like, and you know, we'd just tease her about it. Um, she also was very good about um, 
cleaning the recyclables. And she was like that person on the commercial a few years ago who was like washing the tin foil and doing all that stuff, because she did that. I mean, it, we all kind of do that still because she influenced us and she was always happy to tell us that it was for the next generation. So Noah and my son Arlo, they have Aunt Linda to thank for that kind of behavior, so. Um, and if you ever threw anything in the garbage can in the bathroom, by the time you left the house that day, it was gone. It was like a magic, it was like magic. I sometimes wonder why she even had a garbage can in there. I almost felt guilty putting something in that garbage can. Um, but yeah, uh, she was very neat, very minimalist. Sometimes I wish I could be more like her, but most of you know I can't. I have too much stuff. But she made it seem so easy and it was just, it worked for her and that was her routine and she was good at it and she loved it and we loved that about her. And she never got mad when we teased her. And that was great because we did it a lot. But she gave it back and she was very competitive. And my son Arlo, when he was asking me about Aunt Linda and telling me stories, he said, I loved going over there and hanging out with Grammy and Aunt Linda and we would play Uno, but she really liked to win. And he, and he was like that too, so I can't imagine what that back and forth was like, but she liked to win and, and she did very often, so. Um, she was a very supportive, available, happy, caring, you know, she always was smiling and she just looked, she had that very jolly face when she smiled. And she was really good with plants. And um, we often always gave her plants because she was, I didn't get any of that from her. Um, she was a good volunteer. She was always helpful for anybody that needed it. And she would do anything for her family. <laughs> The day that we lost her, I think Jessica said it best. She said, I won the mother-in-law lottery. And it, it was, sounded funny, but it's so true because I think we all won the lottery. And we, we're gonna miss her. We love her very much. Thank you. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our sister. May our farewell express our affection for her, may ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet her again, when the love of Christ conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Incense or cremated means consecrated means holy in baptism. To repeat after these verses, receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to her aid. Hasten meet her angels of the Lord. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Into your hands, God of mercies, we commend our sister Linda in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. 
We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon her in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us to remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you with our sister forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. There's no burial today. You're invited downstairs to a, a dessert buffet. Um, so to get downstairs, if you can walk stairs, you can go out the first set of doors and down the stairs. If you need an elevator, go all the way outside to your right, take the elevator downstairs. Um, and the rooms where the food is being served is on the right-hand side. Uh, so um, according to Linda, if she were here, you'd have to make sure you clean up afterwards, okay? So I'm not sure if I'm going to eat off the floor of the place down there, but anyway, you know what I mean, okay? Our closing song could be found in your Spirit and Song books, number 339, 339. Please stand. Make me a channel of your peace. When there is hatred, let me bring your love. Where there is injury, your pardon, Lord. And where there's doubt, true faith in you. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there's despair in life, let me bring hope. Where there is darkness, only light. And where there's sadness, ever joy. O oh, Master, grant that I may never seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my soul. Make me a channel of your peace. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. In giving of ourselves that we receive. And in dying that we're born to eternal life.